Libra. Uh, welcome back to Peace and Carmen. If you are a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, <laughs> be sure to subscribe, um, like, comment. Uh, you guys know what to do. Uh, so, welcome to August, Libra. Beautiful August 1st. Um, let's see what the cards have in store for you for your August tarot reading. So, what do our Libras watching need to hear for the month? And I have this window open, so if you can hear traffic or... Um, people casually talking as they walk by. I apologize, but it's got to be open. I'm so sorry. It just has to be open. I had to turn the AC off, and um, you know, you sage the place. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta um, open that window. All right. Let's see. Libra, your cards don't want to come out today, Libra. What's going on? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Let's see. We're going to get more cards to um, get the get the story out, get more of that picture. And I'll make sure I lift the cards up so you can see them in the camera. Um, tell me how you like this angle, too, by the way. Um, I'm changing my angles. Um... So, let me know what you guys think, the camera angles. So, we got the King of Pentacles, we got the Hierophant, now they want to come out. The Three of Cups, in reverse, the Hierophant was also in reverse, I feel like I am starting to see this a bit more. Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to grab just maybe a few more. I have all this ash coming into my cards right now. All right. Four of Swords and Ace of Wands, or Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, in reverse. And all right, all right. We got another page coming out. Oh, never mind. It's the Fool. Looked like it was a page in that quick flip. All right, there we go. Okay, all right. Now the messages don't want to stop coming out. <laughs> all right, five of swords, five of wands, king of wands in reverse, the world, two of cups. Strength card. All right. So... Let's see. We're dealing with the Cancer. I don't know. I feel like Cancer had a few of these cards out already in their spread. I'm like, hmm. I wonder if uh, the, camper, uh, the Cancer is dealing with the Libra and the Libra is dealing with Cancer or something. <laughs> so I know that they definitely had a few of these cards. Um, or maybe it was Virgo. Maybe it was Virgo. Um, I don't know. My memory is not great, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. So, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Divine's trying to talk to you. They're trying to give you things. And I don't think that um, it's being seen as such. I think that there is a person that has entered your life that's going to be a tremendous blessing for you. Um, and I think it's this King of Pentacles. I think this person is going to um, shed a little bit of wisdom for your life. They're going to give you um, some really important advice that's going to probably help you um, navigate the next few months, if not even longer than that. Um, this King of Pentacles is, uh, is trying to help you. They really are. They're coming from a really good place. They really just care about you and they're trying to help you. But the way that you are taking it is like, okay, buddy, my life isn't that bad. My life is not bad. Okay, so 
chill out. Okay, I, I know what I'm doing. Um, even though, <laughs> even though things might not be going the way that you want them to right now, and this King of Pentacles is trying to help you out because of that, but you're like, mm, no, you're you're trying to help a little bit too much. You're kind of uh, you're you're crossing the line. You're crossing the line. The way that you're coming off is very um, um, intense. It's very like you know what's best for me in my life and. You don't know me. You don't know my life. You don't know all the details. I, I can candle myself. Um, but know that they really are coming from the best of places. It is coming from a place of really wanting to help you and really care. They care for you. They really, truly do. Um, right now, you might be uh, a little bit, a little bit more overindulgent than normal. And I think that that's why some of this, some of this like disconnect of you realizing your blessings that the, that the divine are trying to give you, why, why maybe there might be an overlook on that. I think that perhaps we are maybe drinking a little bit more than we typically do or um, just going out a little bit more or just distracting ourselves with, with things. Um, people, things, substances, um, but we're getting distracted. We're getting distracted a little bit, um, where you're still, you know, dealing with life. You're still, you know, you're not just like not going to work and things like that. So, so it's hard for you to see that maybe it is a little overindulgent because you're still getting your things done, but, um, but it is happening. Okay. Um, you have the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So, this person that has entered your life is really going to be somebody that's, that's trying to, trying to help you get your money in order, trying to help you, um, make moves, do your investing, um, get your 401k together. They're trying to make it so that you have all the things that you need for the future. They really are trying to. <laughs> I laugh because it feels like, um, it feels like Libra, you're just not having it. Like, you're like, they're really overstuffing. <laughs> they're really overstuffing. And they might be, it might be feeling that way, but no, ooh, let me mute this here, but know that this is just, it, it takes some time to consider what they're saying, regardless of how it's feeling at the time for you, regardless if you're feeling perhaps a little offended because maybe they are um, coming off in a little, um, in a little bit more righteous type of demeanor, um, where it's kind of putting you off. Okay, but just consider what they're saying because this does seem like this person can be a huge blessing in your life. Um, whether they're going to be here for a long time, debatable, debatable, um, but they are definitely somebody who's meant to be in your life right now. And I do think it's for this purpose of helping you get some of these things straight and perhaps even helping you get connected with the divine once again. This person is going to um, perhaps question, make you question some of your actions, make you question some of the things that you uh, are just doing without thought anymore. Now they're going to ask you, um, you know, what do you, what do you think about death? Where, where do you think that we go? What do you think about spirits? Like, what do you, where, where do you feel safe? Where do you feel connected? Um, and that might not have be something that you have um, considered a little bit in this past following uh, through July. I think that perhaps through July, it was more of going through the motions. It was um, getting a little perhaps stuck in routine. But I think that you see, Libra, that these that the that your habits, though that routine wasn't working out for you. 
I think you see that there were um, areas that just, that didn't feel complete yet. It didn't feel like that's where, um, where the end of the line is. Like, if this doesn't feel like everything that I could have in my life. And it wasn't. It wasn't. And this person is here to show you that there could be more, that there could be more potential. They're going to help you, guide you through this because they do have, they do got some stuff together. This is knowledge that they have that they are gifting to you. This is a gift. And, and it's the fact that they're doing it out of love is a beautiful thing because they care about you, Libra, and who wouldn't, right? You... You do take life to the fullest. You're, do, you're enjoying all of the things that a life has to offer. And that is incredible. And you're going to gift them a little bit of that. But at this time, this is time for you to receive. Okay? This is a time for you to start new. This is the time where you can start new. This is getting some things together that you haven't gotten together <laughs> in a little bit, okay? You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And it is a good thing. It is a good thing. But it might feel... So I'm getting with the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. You're going to really try to fight with this person. <laughs> You're going to really try to not take their advice. You're going to really want to try and argue with them because how they are approaching it is just not rubbing you the right way, okay? Um, but when I say to just consider it, <laughs> don't get mad at the messenger, okay? Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I just... I just want you to put all of this in perspective as it is a gift, that it is a blessing that this person is willing to take the time to disclose some of the information that they all, some of the knowledge that they know to you. And if we take some of that, if we just pocket some of that, um, we have the potential to carve out a pretty solid future for yourself, a pretty um, supportive one. And that would be really nice for you. <laughs> it would be really great for, for you. Um, so, when we are dealing with this person, how about we don't go and text the ex? <laughs> Maybe we don't go and um, make some connections that we know might sabotage this relationship that you have with this uh, King of Pentacles. Um, it seems like we might um, try to make moves to, to um, discredit them or try to make moves to get them to uh, leave subconsciously. I think that this is something that um, you might not even realize that you are, that you're, that you're actively doing is trying to push them away. I don't think that you, I don't think that you really like someone um, just coming in and trying to switch up the scene for you, you know? You you like going out with your friends. You like overindulging. And you you like to experience life. And that is that is a great thing about you, Libra. But there's always balance in life, right? There's always a balance. So you can still um, enjoy some of that time, some of that is that worldly experience, um, you know, uh, like in September or something like that. See how September works out for you. But perhaps this month we dive back a little bit. Perhaps this month we do kind of get some things in order so that in a couple months we're able to experience life to the fullest. This is an opportunity for you to really be able to experience a, a different kind of uh, life, 
a, a life where you don't have to worry about um, how you're going to pay rent, you know, three months from now or, um, you know, what uh, retirement pro programs or things like that. Like what? You don't have to worry about that because you've set yourself up because this person is here to help you with that. Um, but we do want to, I think we might want to look at spirit for a little bit of um, guidance. I think that that's going to help support you as you're trying to um, stay away from some of these substances, as we're trying to stay away from some of the things that we want to distract ourselves with. Instead of doing those destructive, these destructive and distractions, destructive distractions, how about that? Um, why don't we sit for a little bit? with ourselves why don't we meditate a little bit why don't we do a dance um find a practice where you feel like you have some spiritual support because when you feel like you have that spiritual support it's it's not by fault it's not by coincidence you do have that spiritual support and they're there they're there to help you um so be strong through this process because this is going to be you know trying to change a habit is never easy um, but allow this person to help you because they're gonna be able to help you change this habit very it's it's almost second nature to them okay they're they're gonna be able to do this for you no problem you just have to be able to accept it you just have to be able to accept their help because they're willing to do it, they're good at it, it doesn't feel like work for them, but you just got to be willing to, to allow them to help you, allow them to give you advice when perhaps you don't really <laughs> want to hear it. Let's see what the Lightseers deck has for you. All right, we got a couple of them out. Let's see what we got. Let's see, I'm gonna go this way. We got the Four of Swords. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And we got the Nine of Wands. I'm gonna grab out a couple more here. I think, Libra, are you scared? <laughs> are you scared to be vulnerable? Are you scared that this person might hurt you? It's, it's scary to rely on somebody. It's scary to accept their help because what if you do? What if you do fall for this person and um, your heart gets hurt? I see that you have fears about that. I think you have fears of perhaps settling down at all. You have fears of um, if this person is going to be, um, is that person going to be the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with? Is this the one that you want to have children with and, uh, you know, start that journey with? It seems like, ooh, ooh, a lot that came out. Um, I'm not going to take all of these, but I am going to take this Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles because this one landed on my lap. We got to be able to let these people in. As scary as that is, as much as we just, because we've been hurt before. 
we've been hurt before. You know what it feels like, and you don't want to. We you don't want to experience that again. But perhaps we might, in that self reflection, in that time, we're asking the spirit for help, for guidance, for um, getting connected with them again. Perhaps we can ask them if you don't already know why, perhaps. Um, what experiences those were that are transmuting into this fear of this of this process now? Where are those fears starting to hold you back? Because you are so strong and you're so independent, okay? You, we know that you can handle your own, Libra. We know that. We do. They know it too. They know that that... You don't absolutely need them. But know that they are a gift. They are being gifted to you right now. So accept your gift. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. First card out. It comes out again right side up. Accept your gift. This person can really help plant some seeds for you. Okay? They really can. We just have to be able to look at it in a positive way. We have to be able to look at it in a way of, of it being a gift for us, of it being a blessing um, as it's being something productive and they're not trying to harm you, they're not trying to hurt you, they're not trying to belittle you, they're not trying to um, make you seem like you are, that you don't know what you're talking about or you don't know what you're doing in your life. That's not, that's not their purpose. That's not why they're here. They're here to give you, they're here to plant these seeds for you, to give you a solid a solid three years from now, a solid five years from now. This is going to be something that is going to be a beneficial thing way down the line. You gotta, you gotta take those blessings, Libra. Accept it. Accept that you are worthy of these blessings. You deserve it. Let's see some final um, messages from the goddess deck here. We have Nine of Swords, I see down there. All right. Nine of Swords. It is not going to be an easy time for you when you, um, when you decide to not indulge anymore. It's not going to be, um, that part's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun for you. Um, it is going to be something that, you know, might make it hard for you to sleep. It might make it hard for you to, um, you know, stay in a happy state of mind during the day sometimes. We might be a little extra, um, you know, irritable. Fertility in reverse. We are birthing something new. This is something that can be a life-changing experience for you, okay? Whether or not that means that you are fertile, I mean, for some people, you better be careful, okay? <laughs> During, uh, during this time, hey, if you don't want to have a baby right now, the fertility card's coming up, mm, be a little extra careful. Be a little extra careful. But for others, you know, this is just a little reminder of, you know, this, it, this can be a life-changing experience and it can be something that, um, that will change the way that you typically view life, the way that you typically go about it. And that's okay, that these moments, these moments, although perhaps maybe unexpected, um, are blessings. They are things that, um, 
that were destined for you, that were that are supposed to be within you and for your life. We have the King of Cups. So allow this person to shower you with their knowledge. Allow this person to um, give you all the things that they know because in return, oh, you're gonna give them, you're getting them in touch with their feelings. In return, you're helping them as well. So know that this is mutually beneficial. So even as <laughs> you're going through this really difficult process of changing the routines in your life and although you know you might feel like you know you don't want to be you don't want to have to rely on anybody you know you don't want you don't want to be dependable or, de or dependent on anybody like that um but know that you are also giving them something that this is this is a mutual exchange you're you're letting them perhaps Feel emotions that they haven't felt in possibly forever. So you're giving them a lot more as well. You are also a gift, Libra, to them. Let's figure out what planets and signs and houses are at play. So planets, Venus. Not shocked by that, Libra. <laughs> signs, Sagittarius. All right. And houses, we got the 10th house. All right. So, I wonder if I should read all three. Because sometimes I'm like, maybe I should read all three of these sentences. Because they form a sentence um, when you lay them out. Um, but I've only been reading one sentence for the other ones. I have read like two for the for some of the other ones, but uh, I think one of the other ones just because it, it just resonated so much. Um, but I'm going to read one for sure. Enjoy the rules of success. Enjoy the rules of success. So, all as as you know. As we do limit the overindulgence, as we do um, start getting more connected with ourselves once again, um, and we start putting up boundaries for ourselves, we start making sure that we are um, we are present, we are there. It might be something that you might actually enjoy. This could be. An enjoyable experience for you this new route this new change could be something so great for you and you really can enjoy it we just have to make sure that the perception and your mindset is on it as this is a gift for me this is a blessing this came into my life for a reason because I'm ready for it I'm ready to accept it it is mine this is my time and that's beautiful so, I will also read, I'll read them all. Okay, Libra, fine, you got me. I'll read them all. We're at 28 minutes and I wanted to keep these shorter, but I'll read them all. All right. Cherish your highest ideals of responsibility. Cherish your highest ideals of responsibility. So, hey, we're cherishing it now. We're loving it. We're cherishing it. We realize that this is important, that this is a great thing for me. This is a great thing. Last but not least, charm, art, and beauty are the way to get it out into the world. And, and can we just say, can I just pause and say that that is such a Libra card, okay? Charm, Libra. Art and beauty, Libra. Okay, anyways, are the way to get it out to the world and become a person of power and success. So you, what characteristics that you naturally hold innately in you are going to be your ways of becoming successful? 
these this person is just showing you how to get it out there how to make it how how to get yourself in, known to the world but you already have the abilities okay you are it's it's you it's you who are who is going to be successful and accepted in society okay it's you because of your natural abilities that's beautiful libra yay well i'm so happy that this reading is such a good one it sounds like it's gonna be a great month for you it really is it's gonna be transformative this is gonna be something that's going to um make some changes uh years down the line so definitely comment below if this resonated for you in any way uh like comment share subscribe um i don't have a set schedule just yet so make sure you click that little bell so you can get notified when i post because you don't want to miss one um but until next month libra thank you